Welcome back everybody to another predictions video and in this one different location I'm in the north of England and I am uh, freezing my balls off here So we've got BTTS or over 2.5 goals. This is a brand new trends page um, And it was quite interesting how this one was launched That's right, it was launched 10,000 uh, meters above the ground. And this one ties nicely into the BTTS filter that we've been making in previous videos um, because BTTS or over 2.5 goals. So you're seeing at least two goals in all of these games and you can see there is quite a few 100% records here. So in the first part of the video, we're going to take a look at the filter again, the one that's been doing so well recently for BTTS. We'll find a game from there and then we will look at this page and dig into some of these games to complete the double. And the double has been doing very well, hasn't it? The last couple of weeks, it has won in the last two weeks. Um, and uh, the corner bet that we put on the previous game, uh, that came in and uh, Manchester City, Brentford, BTTS as well. Quite a few of you getting on that, which is always nice to see. So no games for Thursday as I record this. That's interesting. We're going to hit the calendar and go to next five days. And there we are. We get some games now. Let's take a look. Now, the first game or the first team that stands out is Madderberg. They were on the previous video, weren't they? We added that for BTTS as well. Not to the bet slip, but just in terms of uh, the video, we covered it. They scored in every home game. And um, I imagine that is still the case. Yes, they've scored in every home game. And they're playing a team in St. Pauli. Now, from what I remember, they're doing quite well, St. Pauli. Unbeaten all season. I don't think there's many teams you can say that about at this stage of the season for them to still be unbeaten. And uh, away from home... BTTS in the last three games. They've scored in all but one away game and you would not bet against them scoring here. Madderberg, if we look at their overall form, just one victory since the start of December. The goals have dried up though, haven't they? Just in general, if you look at those last three games, 1-1, one, one, that's the game we were on for, for BTTS. 1-0 before that and 1-0 before that as well. But at home, does that change? It doesn't really. Um, the last couple of games, both under 2.5 goals. As always, um, get your thoughts in the comments. Any comment will be entered into a draw to win Odd Alerts Pro. And speaking of comments, here is the winner from the previous week. That should be on screen now. So uh, well done to you. The last couple of winners have got in touch and they have now um, got Pro. I've, I've activated it for them. So BTTS at the moment, 1.68. Now, if we look at the probability model, um, you can see I've added a prediction 1.68, which actually shows that it's in line with um, a lot of the bookmakers there. 1.68, so that could be one you'd, you'd, you'd potentially add to a double. We'll keep it in mind for the end of the video. But I would just be wary of the goals drying up in the last few games. We can look at the last five games um, overall and just see that average there. 2.8 and 2.2, last 10, it goes up a little bit. St. Pauli, um, you might maybe want to look at Double chance as well. Let's take a look at the odds uh, for the full-time result. 1.75, 1.8 is the peak. Um, so not high enough for me to be enticed into the draw no bet or double chance, which I do like to pair with over 1.5 goals. That game is on Saturday, by the way. So on Friday, we've got a game here from the Reserve League in Belgium. 16 games in. The away team looks like a pretty good team here. Third away at eighth. If we just look at the results, one victory since the start of November for that home team. And for the away team, they come into this having been beaten by the team that is second, but they are scoring in the majority of games away from home. They've scored three goals in the last three games played. So this is going to be one to look out for as well. This is quite a nice fixture for BTTS because, as I've mentioned in previous videos, you want an away team that can handle themselves, but you also want a home team. As we can see here, 2.29 goals scored per game. They've scored in every home game, this home team. So if we take a look at the odds for this one and go on the comparison, uh, 1.88 for an away win. And we saw the home form, didn't we? It's not great by any stretch. BTTS, 1.44. So this one is probably going to be one for the alerts. You could see over 2.5 goals as well, but I imagine it is just as low. 1.5. So again, if you're looking at doubles, 1.5 mixed with maybe a 1.7, 1.8 is going to get you over evens. And um, we will add it to the shortlist of games. And also, speaking of shortlist, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this shortlist with you. So this is the games that have, have been found for the filter. And um, I'll show you the rules in a moment. But what you can do is share list. And we're going to call this Joe's BTTS filter um, for Friday to Sunday. And we click OK. And then we get this link. And I'm going to put this link in the description or the pinned comment. So just check both. 
So let's continue looking at these games. We've got a home team here scored in every single home game. This is uh, Dulwich Hamlet. And uh, if we keep scrolling down, we can see that we've got a home team and an away team here that have scored in every game from Hungary. We will take a look at that one as well. Roma versus Inter Milan. That is a big game. We'll take a look at that, but just straight away, my feeling is that I wouldn't touch it because these kind of games can go either way. Roma have just got a new manager. They are steadily improving, certainly. If you look at the data between Mourinho's last three games and the first few games with the new coach, and another game here from Mexico in the Liga MX. We've got a home team that scored in every home game and uh, an away team, third, that scored in 85%. So again, that is an enticing one because it's sort of what I gravitate towards. If we've got a very, very good away team and a home team that is capable, let's take a look at that Mexican game, actually. And we'll just, um, just confirm some of those data points. So 1.77 goals per game they've conceded 1.15 so actually they've got an okay defense and the away team's got a very good defense conceded just eight goals away from home dreadful away record let's look at the home form so it is chalk and cheese isn't it home and away for leon btcs has landed in one two three four five of the last five games winning just once but at home they are much better aren't they but again btts there wow that's a good record the only thing is with this away team three clean sheets on the bounce so Let's have a look at the odds for this one because straight away, uh, if you've watched any of the previous videos, you'll know that I, um, I'm i not keen on any game where a team has a string of clean sheets. 1.67 is the best you will get here and um, maybe over 2.5 goals because this away team looks like they can score. If we look at the goals away from home, 1.85. If we look at the last five games... It goes up for both teams, doesn't it? And they've conceded nine goals in the last five games. Average of four goals per game. What about the last 10? Yeah, they are conceding more goals at the moment for sure, this home team. This one I would I would gravitate more towards over 2.5 goals personally. So this is one that we will log and, and potentially come back to at the end of the video. One of the games that stood out from the stat scroller at least was this one. Because both teams have scored in every game they've played when looking at home form against away form. Um, but I imagine... A lot of these games have had exactly two goals because 67% of games only for the home team have seen three or more goals. This is fourth against first as well. So let's start by taking a look at the table. This table is actually being sorted by the average points. You can see there's a bit of a difference, isn't there? 10 points between these two teams. If we look at the results, ETTS in the last four games unbeaten. So they're coming into this in better form. Um, they've only lost twice since the end of September, which is pretty good. Now this away team, they've scored... 11 goals in the last three games this one is looking pretty good to be fair away from home they've scored two or more in the last three games they've scored in every way game and just look at those goals that they scored at the start of the season five six six two one one two two three so you would not bet against them scoring in this game apologies for the the focus on the camera um using the same camera but different setting um, as I say, back in England for a couple of weeks. And um, yeah, no studio light like I do have in my uh, home. And in terms of the home form for this team that is fourth, they'll be looking to close that gap. It's 10 points and um, they're pretty decent at home. Lost just twice. And if we look at the head-to-head -head between these two teams, a 2-2, a 3-1, a 2-0 and a red card in two out of three of those games played in the previous year. So... What do we think of that one? I like it, but we've not checked out the odds yet, have we? Um, I would imagine they're quite low. 1.68 is higher than I thought it would be. If we look at the probability model, 1.92. So that is definitely going on my predictions. 1.92, that's a, uh, a pretty good point return, potentially. Given the goal scoring ability of both of these teams, over 2.5 goals could be a potential play. Um, it's just whether this will be a bit of a tighter game given the, the stage of the season that we're in. But as always, get your comments in. What are you thinking about these games? Put your own doubles in the comments. You'll be automatically entered into a draw to win Odd Alerts Pro. And what I'm doing as we go through these games, I'm adding them all to a bet slip on Bet365. And then at the end of the video, we will go through the process of um, just getting it down to two games, ones that we feel most confident in. Roma versus Inter. We'll take a look at this game because um, it's just an interesting game, isn't it, to be fair? And if we look at Roma's form, as I say, the last three games, new coach, um, they've, they've, they've won them all. Um, fair play to them. Inter Milan, though, they are chasing the title, the Scudetto again. They've lost just once this season. Away from home, they have scored in every single game. And would you expect them to do that? Well, I, I just, I don't like 
um, trying to predict these games, I'll be honest, and that's why I just usually skip them, because you can see the last couple of games, it's always tight, it's always edgy, these massive Italian games, the atmosphere is going to be insane, um, so it's best to just enjoy it as a spectacle, these kind of games, that's, that's my personal opinion anyway, of course you can um, find value in these games, maybe on the card markets or something, but then again, the odds are going to be absolutely terrible for cards, because they are expected, this is a, a huge Italian game, and um, that usually means cards, let's just take a look at the referee, just in case you are interested, Marco Guida, and if we look at his Serie A record, 4.8 cards per game, uh, 5, 5, 7, including a red card there, 3, 8, 3, um, so yeah, let me know what you're thinking about this game, prediction-wise, and um, add it in the comments, but I will be skipping this one. Now then, Saturday 3pm at Dulwich Hamlet against Hornchurch, AFC Hornchurch, who have won 69% of away games, um, so they're a good team, they're top of the league, and uh, 2.31 points per game, and they're going away to a team that's averaged 2 points per game, but they're only ninth. so... Straight away, their away record must be not great. Um, and they've got quite a few draws in there, haven't they? Now, BTTS has landed in 86% of home games, and they are a really strong home team, to be fair. Just two defeats all season. If we look at the previous meetings, 2-1, 2-1, 1-0 back in 2019. So actually, they've only played once since 2020. So discount that. Uh, the teams have probably changed massively since 2020. But the last game, the reverse fixture, was a 2-1 victory for the away side uh, on this day. Now, in terms of goals, again, it looks good, doesn't it? 2.21 for the home team, 2.54. Now, 12 goals conceded um, should be noted as well, just when you're weighing up this game. Failed to score, 0%, 0-0, 0% for both of these teams. Clean sheet, 31% for the away team. So let's take a look at their away record. And they kept a clean sheet in the previous game, but they have conceded in three of the last four and four of the last six. And as we saw, they are playing a very, very good home team. So this is going to be an interesting game, isn't it? Just one defeat on the road for this team. And um, just one defeat all season, to be fair. So you wouldn't bet against them at all. But let's take a look at the odds here. So this is one, actually, um, that as a single, I might play at the double chance. So Dulwich Hamlet or draw, and then maybe over 1.5 goals, just to see what that comes in at, um, I'll, I'll add it to the to the bet and we can maybe do it as a single, like the uh, Pax C and BCTS at fours um, last week, that was superb, 2-1 uh, victory for them, so 3.75, 3.9, the peak at the moment, let's take a look at BTTS, 1.6 with 1x bet, so I imagine Bet365 not offering this, and the over under is 1.67, okay, so the final game we'll take a look at before moving and showing you the new trends page that launched this week, um, from 10,000 metres above you, is Watford Leicester. Now, Watford, 33% win rate, and uh, Leicester, they're obviously smashing it, aren't they? Everyone's favourite to, to go straight back up to the Premier League, and uh, you can see why. Just uh, three defeats so far to Middlesbrough, Leeds, and Coventry away, which I think was a red card in that game, wasn't there? Away from home, they come into this having scored five. For Watford, it is one victory since before Christmas. They've conceded in the last six home games. This is their home form. It doesn't look good, but if we look at the overall, there's just too many draws in there for me. Um, it seems like they are tightening things up. Leicester have scored in all but one away game. You would expect them to score again in this game, but for me, a bit risky this one, in my opinion. Those last couple of games, it just seems like Watford are maybe tightening things up, and with Leicester coming to town, um, they're not going to want to get turned over, which is very possible if you play a certain way against this Leicester team and you leave spaces for them. They've got players and pace that can exploit you. And um, it seems like they're heading in the right direction, to be honest. Watford, if they can turn some of those draws into victories, then they'll start to move up the table. So on to the new trends section. This is BTTS or over 2.5 goals. It was uh, actually requested as a comment in the YouTube video. So um, yeah, thanks for the request. And uh, here it is. And I was surprised to see this many 100%, to be honest. You can pause the video, take a look, or I'll put the link in the description. You can check out this page. Uh, these are the combined forms, so the home form and the away form combined. And again, you've got a lot of 100% here. Um, so what does this mean? BTTS or over 2.5 goals? Well, it just does exactly what it says on the tin. These are the top performing teams for that record. So let's take a look at a couple of these games and um, see if they're worth adding to our BTTS uh, selections for the end of this video. 
So the first game that I've found from that page is Ghent against Bruges. And um, it's an interesting one because the, the home team, they're, they're scoring at home, but they seem to have uh, dropped in terms of their form. One defeat at the start of the season, which interestingly, these things always pop up, was against the team that they're playing now. So 2-0 there. So maybe a bit of revenge on the cards. But it, it kind of means that this away team knows they can score against this home team. And factor that in with the fact that they're out of form. No victory in the last four games conceding two or more in three of those four games. Uh, a defeat to Anderlecht away, who are second in the table. If you look at the table, there is not much separating these teams, 39 points and 36 points. Now, if we go back to the results and look at the away team, they come into this having scored four goals. They scored two in the game before that. Uh, BTTS has landed in the last four games, and they've only failed to score recently Um in fact, since the start of November against Anderlecht. So they've got that in common, these two teams, that they couldn't find the back of the net against Anderlecht, which I, I imagine brings no shame in this league. So away from home, the form has been inconsistent, just four victories. Um, but again, it looks like scoring isn't necessarily the main issue. They're conceding in the majority of games. So in terms of the head-to-head, -head, they actually played four times in 2023. 3-2 victory for Bruges. Uh, then a 4-0 victory for Ghent, then a draw, and then a 2-0 victory for Bruges. So a mixed bag, to be honest, a mixed bag of results. Now, if we go to the goal section and scroll down, you can see that this is what the trends page is showing, this 100% record for BTTS or over 2.5 goals. Another one here from the Oberliga, great league for goals. There's a, quite a few divisions, isn't there? It's quite hard to keep track of. Um, and again, it's a 100% record for the home team if we just head to goals here we can confirm that here btcs and it's a 100 percent record for the away team as well okay so we entered this from the home team section of the trends page but we would have found this this team as well on the away team's uh, section 1.33 goal score per game so um, they've conceded 4.11 wow that is a lot of goals to concede but the home team they've uh, lost the last three games btts in the last Four games, 7-1-2-1-4-1-2-1. So again, the trends pages, they're just fantastic for finding these kind of golden nuggets. I mean, this one is probably going to be for the alerts. I've not checked the odds yet, but I imagine um, they are very, very low. 6-1-3-1-7-1. This team just gets battered, don't they? But they do find the back of the net, but rarely more than once, especially in recent times anyway. They've not won away from home. So let's take a look at the odds with all that in mind. one14 as you might expect, both teams to score 1.62 with Betfair. That's uh, pretty good, isn't it? So 1.62 is something that you might want to add. And uh, 1.2 is, yeah, exactly. BTTS, um, not offered by Bet365 for these kind of leagues, but it does become available um, when the game kicks off. So I'm going to set a couple of alerts here. Tell me if this hits 1.8. And for BTTS, we are going to just do the same. Tell me if it hits 1.8. And um, if there's a slow start, we'll be alerted to that. So with that in mind, let's go and check out Bet365 and see what selections we've got so far. So here are the selections, and now we begin the process of getting it down to a double butt. Before I do that, let us know in the comments which of these two games you would pick. Every comment uh, will automatically be entered into a draw to win Odd Alerts Pro. I'm going to go, I think, with... It's tempting to do a couple of doubles, actually, which, um, which could be... Uh, something we do, to be fair, because I think there's a few games here that are quite good. The ones that I'm going to remove, Leon Club America, I think there was some clean sheets in that game. This game I really like, and I could see it going over 2.5 goals as well. That is the Hungarian game. Watford Leicester, I think that will be a tight one, so I'm going to remove that. And I think these games could make a couple of doubles, so whichever way you want to put them, you can. I'm going to go with the Belgian and German game together as a 1.5 and a 1.6. And then the Dulwich game and the Hungarian game 1.6 and 1.6 as well. And I will leave you here with uh, the trends page. You can scroll down. You can see all of the categories here. Feel free to pause or whatever. Um, and again, I'll, I'll link all of this in the description. If you've enjoyed this, please hit like, subscribe. And um, as always, enjoy and I'll see you in the next one.